what does it take to turn a conventional info magazine into an extraordinary science magazine? You need airplanes. And it wouldn't hurt if they'd fly a little bit lower. You need cars, and it might help if they'd cause a little bit of damage. You need weapons, and wouldn't it be nice if someone would be firing them at extraordinary targets? Woo! Somebody who happens to be quite extraordinary himself. Because he is a rock star, who's had his share of exciting stuff, but hasn't had enough yet. What we've learned is the computer has an ass, because I just kicked it in it. You need lots of thrilling experiments. It's tough, but it's dead. And the most extraordinary people in the world. Here we go. Next! You need some cool animations for edutainment and 4,000 pictures per second. After all, you want to see exactly what's happening. And of course, the host <coughs> should be kind of courageous. Well, even a little crazy. Totally crazy. Because it's the only way, really, the only way. A quite normal info magazine will become probably the most stunning pop science magazine in the world. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, mm, talk to soon. Okay, well, luckily my face was nothing beautiful to begin with. Okay, and now we know everything there is to know about boxing and getting punched in the freaking face. <laughs>